Hey, hummingbird friends, it's time for story time again. And today, I'm going to read The Rainbow Fish by Marcus Pfister. You ready to join me? Because we're learning about the ocean animals and creatures that live in the ocean this week. This is one of my favorite stories. Here we go. A long way out in the deep blue sea, there lived a fish. Not just any ordinary fish, but the most beautiful fish in the entire ocean. His scales were every shade of blue and green and purple, and sparkling silver scales were among them. Do you see? Look at that. Are these sparkling? There we go. The other fish were amazed at his beauty. They called him Rainbow Fish. Come on, Rainbow Fish, they would call. Come on and play with us. But the Rainbow Fish would just glide past, proud and silent, letting his scales shimmer. Aw, is that being a good friend? No, they wanted to play with him and he would just swim on by. One day, a little blue fish followed after him. Rainbow fish, he called. Wait for me. Please give me one of your shiny scales. They are so wonderful, and you have so many. You want me to give you one of my special scales? Who do you think you are? cried Rainbow fish. Get away from me. Shocked, the little blue fish swam away. He was so upset, he called all his friends and told them what happened. From then on, no one would have anything to do with the rainbow fish. They turned away when he swam by. Oh, see, rainbow fish wasn't a nice friend, and now nobody wants to even try to play with him. What good were dazzling, shimmering scales when no one, with no one to admire them? Now he was the loneliest fish in the entire ocean. One day he poured out his troubles to the starfish. I really am beautiful. Why doesn't anybody like me? I can't answer that for you, said the starfish. But if you go beyond the coral reef, to a deep cave, you will find the wise octopus. Maybe she can help you. Here he is talking to the starfish. The rainbow fish found the cave. It was very dark inside and he couldn't see anything. Then suddenly, two eyes caught in their glare and the octopus emerged from the darkness. Do you see him? Right here, there's the octopus. I have been waiting for you, said the octopus with a deep voice. The waves have told me your story. This is my advice. Give a glittering scale to each of the other fish. You will no longer be the most beautiful fish in the sea, but you will discover how to be happy. I can't, the rainbow fish started to say, but the octopus had already disappeared into a cloud of dark ink. Give away my scales, my beautiful shiny scales? Never. How could I ever be happy without them? <laughs> Suddenly, he felt the light touch of a fin. The little blue fish was back. Rainbow fish, please don't be angry. I just want one little scale. The rainbow fish wavered. Hmm. Only one very, very small sh shimmery scale, he thought. Well, maybe I wouldn't miss just one. 
There he is. Do you think he's going to give up a scale? Carefully, the rainbow fish pulled out the smallest scale and gave it to the little fish. Yay! Thank you, thank you very much, the little blue fish bubbled playfully as he tucked the shiny scale in among his blue ones. A rather peculiar feeling came over the rainbow fish. For a long time, he watched the little blue fish swim back and forth, back and forth with his new scale glittering in the water. Look, there he is. Could give his scale to the little blue fish. That is very nice sharing that he's doing. The little blue fish whizzed through the ocean with a scaling flashing, with a scale flashing. So it didn't take long before the rainbow fish was surrounded by the other fish. Everyone wanted a glittering scale. The rainbow fish shared his scales left and right. And the more he gave away, the more delighted he became. That means the more happier he became. When the water around him filled with glimmering scales, he at last felt at home among the other fish. Look at all that. Don't they look happy now? Okay, finally, the rainbow fish had only one shiny scale left. His most prized possession had been given away, yet he was still very, very happy. Come on, rainbow fish, they called. Come and play with us. Here I come, said rainbow fish, and happy, and as happy, and he splashed off happily as he swam to join his friends. I love this book about sharing. It actually made him feel happier when he shared with his friends. And do you share with your friends and your brothers and sisters? And your mom and dad? I hope so. Until next time. Bye-bye.